Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, one of the things that I wanted to talk about here is last night, uh, I was thinking of that show Daria, as far as that goes. And it was one of my favorite shows back in the day, you know, in the late 90s, early aughts, as far as that goes, when I was like, you know, Finishing off my teenage years and going into my early 20s As far as that goes and um, There was a fan art picture of The fashion club, you know Quinn and Stacy and Sandy and Tiffany uh, Gender bend versions of them, you know what they would look like if they were if they were guys and then it, it made me come to this sort of thought about what would Quinn would be like as a guy. But then, you know, Quinn would still be called Quinn because Quinn is also a gender neutral name. A lot of people don't really know about that sort of thing there. You know? But in a way, I think a male version of Quinn would be, you know, a player and all of that and then would be right around hooking up with all these different chicks and all of that sort of stuff there, you know, but, and then, you know, the three J's will have to be girls as well, but I don't know what, what was the names would be, you know, like, like, you know, like Jackie, Janie, and, and Jamie, or something like that, or, you know, as far as that goes, but, you know, those three, you know, by today's standards would be considered to be, uh, beta orbiters as far as that goes, because how they hang around, uh, Quinn all the time, hoping that they would get to date her, or, or something beyond that sort of thing. You know, even though it was, like, in the the second episode where she made it clear that she wasn't really interested in them, you know, as far as that goes, you know, and, uh, they still kind of, you know, hang around hoping, you know, against hope as far as that goes. And I'm certain, you know, that would have been, like, the case, like, um, like a male version of Quinn, and any female version of the three J's as far as that goes. You know. But that also makes me think like what would the other major characters would be like as far as that goes if their genders were swapped. You know, but I don't think there would be a whole lot a whole lot different when it's like a male Daria and a male Jane, as far as that goes, or in a female Trent. You know. And then, like, a male version of Tom, you know, Daria's boyfriend during, like, the, during, like, the, the last two seasons, I don't really remember the exact story, because it was, it was early on, um, Tom was, um, Jane's boyfriend, and then somehow, like, you know, that, I, I don't really remember the exact story, whether if it was just simply, um, that Daria had stole Tom away from her, or, or it was just simply that maybe, you know, Tom was using Jane to get closer to Daria or something like that, but that was, been the case, you know. Because even, like, some of the earlier episodes there, you know, it was also shown how there was, you know, sexual tension between Jane and Daria, I mean, Tom and Daria as far as that goes, <laughs> yeah, so that was one of the things there, but it was like one of my favorite shows there, because then it was something that, that was like another thing that they also hinted, you know, that Daria will be more like her aunt Amy as far as that goes. Yeah. But 
There are a couple other funny parts of the 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 episodes there, you know, where where they were introducing Jane's family and you know, how their family was was dysfunctional and there was one where they were doing the family reunion and like how one of the uncles likes Trent because he was a bum just like him or something like that. You know and then how like the the grandma was kind of a bit verbally abusive. And then I think it was the one of the aunts was like a bit gossipy or anyway. And then there was one of the stories pretty sad about they were talking about one of the other aunts that was there, you know, that I liked to wear those hats, and, you know, and then she didn't realize that they were there, that she was there. And I think they got stranded, and then somehow they, she kind of left them there and didn't even bother to pick them up. Yeah. And then it reminded me of, yeah, the other one that was called Lean Miserable. And that was the one where they kind of explained why the the family is kind of all messed up in a way, you know, with you know, Jane's uh, older siblings, you know, with was Penny and Summer and Wind as far as that goes and how Wind was twice divorced and, you know and was being like a sobbing mess because of that there and, and then the whole thing with like Summer's kids that ran away or something like that and then how uh, Penny was the one that that what uh, was it that she went to like Costa Rica or Nicaragua or Panama and then she didn't even know a whole lot of Spanish there and believes that she can make these like homemade picture frames as far as that goes you know and and it was kind of funny when you start to look at all that sort of stuff there. But considering all that, you know, it was just an interesting uh, show there. But as far as it goes, I don't think there would be that much difference, you know, if we gender swap some of the other characters. Like, you know, when it came to, like, Kevin and Brittany, it would still be pretty much the same. You know, or the case with, um, Mac and Jody. I don't think they would, there wouldn't be that much of a difference. You know, they would still be kind of pretty much similar. And then, of course, with Mrs. Mrs. Birch, you know, if Mrs. Birch was a guy, you know, he would, the male version of Mrs. Birch would be the... The what's that word again? It's would be a grade A misogynist and all that, and and you know, and be you know that sort of way towards the girls because you know the the wife had left him for not for a younger woman or for a younger man or something like that instead of how it's normally there you know where. The husband had left her for a younger woman or something like that. You know, that was one of the other stories that they had on on there. But then, you know, like, a female version of Mr. Martino who kind of pretty much be the same. Or a female version, or a male version of, of, uh, Miss Lee. I think she would still be the same as... You know, a male version of Miss Lee, he would probably still be the same like that, you know. Be, uh, all, you know, wanting to, to have some sort of recognition among some of those people. That was kind of like the whole story, I think that was there. So, anyways, um... I guess that's part of it, so talk to you guys later.